Good evening, I'm Lindsay McComo. We start the 7 on 8 tonight to start off your week with germs. It seems cold and flu season have taken on a whole new urgency in recent years with all the talk about hard to kill viruses, spreading not only illness, but public fear. A Grand Rapids area firm has developed a unique way to combat both of those with light. News 8's Joe Lafergie has the story from a safe distance. The machine uses ultraviolet rays to basically short circuit a virus's DNA. At first glance, it looks like an oversized bug zapper, but this device kills a whole different kind of bug. Technically, it's called the IPT3200, a robot emitter that produces ultraviolet light in the C band. Which is ultraviolet germicidal irradiation. And uh, UVC, for sure, is extremely effective at disrupting the uh, DNA uh, sequence in microorganisms, including uh, bacteria, virus, spores. It's so powerful, we had to shoot video of it in action through a window. You don't want to be in the room, no, because it, as we said earlier, it's harmful to uh, DNA. Um, so uh, since we're all composed of DNA, uh, you certainly don't want to be in the room. Skytron, a Cascade Township-based medical device company, has been supplying the room sterilization technology to hospitals and other medical facilities for about a decade. And now they're expanding their marketing efforts. You see it every year about this time. Students and teachers calling in sick, closing schools. Crews try to rid the building of bugs through a combination of disinfectants and elbow grease, but it doesn't always kill all the germs. What's unique about microorganisms is that they're incredibly resilient and they're incredibly adaptive. That includes both chemical and environmental conditions. Thinking that you clean it and that you're safe after cleaning it, uh, laboratory tests show that there's more there. For about $45,000, that's the approximate cost of the smaller units, Perez says a janitor could set the unit up at night, close the door behind them, and let the units go to work. A special lock shuts the machine down if someone tries to open the door. Sensors tell the unit the size of the room and how many waves to throw out. And it's going to deliver a smart dose. It takes the human guesswork out of thinking, did I leave it in this room long enough? This is part of the answer in containing uh, some of the problems that we're dealing with currently, uh, as well as managing what, you know, what I would refer to as some of these uh, epidemics that we're managing right now. We have more information on Skytron at woodtv.com. In Cascade Township, Joe Lafergie, News 8.